Hi, I'm Dr. Kave. I'm an anesthesiologist and I speak to businesses and associations on the secrets of what happens to your body under anesthesia to help you live more healthy and more productively. And I recently had some patients with significant anxiety disorders and histories of panic attacks. And I wanna share how that anxiety and panic can become addicting. Just look at the secrets your body tells us when you're under anesthesia in this operating room. Your brain and body open up under anesthesia to tell us all about your life. Your stress level, your anxiety, PTSD, and yes, sometimes even some secrets because some forms of anesthesia are kind of like truth serum after all. But don't worry, stories in the operating room stay in the operating room. Your body opens up like this because those habits, especially if they become addictions, affect your brain's neurochemistry. And those changes in your brain are actually reflected when you're under anesthesia having surgery. Let's start with an easier addiction first, like shopping. The loop that your brain falls into is that you see something that you like, you buy it, and you feel rewarded for buying it, even if it means that you're racking up credit card debt. And you keep doing it and doing it and doing it no matter how deep your debt gets. The reason is because your brain is attracted to easy solutions to controlling its environment. Easy things and controlling the environment. In the case of buying clothes, you can buy clothes from Amazon, really easy, and with those clothes, you can control the way that the world perceives and views you, and it can feel pretty good. Anxiety is similar, especially here for surgery, where patients feel that they have no control because they don't know what's gonna happen to them when they're under the knife or when they wake up. And that uncertainty is a powerful trigger that stimulates anxiety and stress. But what's the reward? Stress and anxiety cause your body to go into physiologic Hulk mode, to fight infections, run away from lions that are trying to eat you, win races, and so much more. In these short bursts, you're controlling your body, your hormones, your muscle tone, your pupil dilation, your sweat production, and so many other parts of your body's physiology. And in the right settings, this can make your body very strong and very focused to solve problems at work, on the basketball court, at home, you name it. It becomes a high for your body because you're gaining control over your body in uncertain and scary situations. But that high can also become addicting like other addictions like gambling, sex, shopping, drugs, and so much more. And getting too comfortable with the high of stress and anxiety can cause your body to burn out. That anxiety can torpedo your productivity and worse, your physical health. It can cause gray hair, hair loss, depression, insomnia, weight gain, financial losses, chronic pain, even cancer risk. Take a quick step back. Addiction is defined as anything that gives you short-term gain at the expense of long-term harm without the ability to hit the abort button. And that's exactly what anxiety does to the body, especially here before surgery, where you may feel helpless and feel that you have no control over your body and what's gonna happen to you once you go under anesthesia. So subconsciously, gaining even that little bit of control over your heart and your muscles with anxiety can be incredibly rewarding, even if it comes at the expense of harm, like from anesthesia or surgical complications. And that can become even more dangerous if it leads to substance abuse, which is also revealed under anesthesia because of how it affects your brain's neurochemistry. So let me tell you what's more powerful than anxiety addiction, and that's your body's ability to overcome it, both naturally and when needed with medications. The most potent addictive substances like nicotine, alcohol, or opioids can all be overcome naturally. It happens when we replace those habit loops with newer habit loops that are more rewarding. Rewarding mentally, physically, and sometimes financially. The trick in my most successful patients and organizations is discovering the habit loop that best resonates with you. It's not one size fits all. That habit loop that you're replacing, the anxiety habit loop, has to truly resonate with your mind and body. Otherwise, it probably won't work. And the vast majority of medications and supplements can't help a mediocre habit loop overcome a powerful habit loop like that anxiety addiction. It may take time to figure out what that bigger, better habit loop is for you. For me, it's a combination of breathing exercises, mindfulness, meditation, and some supplements. But once you figure out what it is for you, your potential can be unstoppable.